What's more colorful than the glow of neon in the night sky? Installing this series of vintage local landmarks on the Rose Kennedy Greenway was a no-brainer for public art curator Lucas Cowan. Anything that draws your eye away from concrete and steel built environment is a wonderful thing. This idea of bent tubes and gas and neon, it's a quality unto itself. You know, it's our Vegas Strip. The signs are on loan from Dave and Lynn Waller, who rescue and restore these roadside relics. Cultural anthropologists is how Cowan describes the couple. They're going out there and saving these signs and storing them. They want to put them back into situations where people can really appreciate them. From neon on the greenway to the growing number of bold and colorful murals in urban neighborhoods, public art today breaks from the traditional bronze and granite. The mural that's behind me is called Carving Out Fresh Options by Shara Hughes. And this is part of our signature aspect to our public art program. It's a rotational mural that is painted on what is called the air ventilation intake structure. And so we're using this as a canvas on a yearly rotational basis. Shara's work is one of the most colorful pieces that we've actually done. It warms you up just looking at it on a cold winter day. I immediately think calypso music. I think color has its own sound and its own rhythm, just as music does. And this, this piece with all of its motion and movement that moves your, your mind and your eye around is phenomenal. Color confused? The Boston Design Center can help. Open to the public, this virtual library of design is packed with dozens of showrooms to peruse and professionals to advise. You have this wealth of resource all around you. So we have people that come in with their tiles, with their fabrics, seeing something in person as opposed to sitting on your computer and scrolling through it makes a world of difference. Jess Ritchie of Farrow and Ball Paint and Paper admits color can be intimidating. Even for the best designer in the world, color is hard. <laughs> We're seeing people being a little bit more bold to go toward a darker color as opposed to staying within all of the really light neutrals. Here's something bold that can help but make you smile. It's the power of color that makes us so happy. Liz Roach is an artist, teacher, and color expert, a love affair that began as a child. Watching my mother on the beach and staring at her pink lipstick in the sun. Today, Roach's art is a study in color. She trained at the Decordova School with Adi Gropius, daughter of Walter Gropius, architect and founder of the Bauhaus Design School. I probably took her classes, there were three levels of them, I'd say 20 times, and then I eventually taught with her, and then eventually I became her successor. So this is really a way of continuing on that kind of color work. Everything I do, I do with my hands, eyes, scissors, glue. I take paper, I select colors. I might be thinking about a color combination. And the great thing about paper and glue is you can substitute things. Lighter color, darker color, forget that purple, put in a blue. I don't work on the computer and I don't really want to. I work with hand eye. The result, fine art prints that can be reproduced in a range of sizes. And all of our prints are archival pigment on archival paper. So whether you're printing tiny or huge, it's that same beautiful saturated color. With all this color, does Liz Roach have a favorite? I actually do and I shouldn't, but I do. And my favorite color is tomato red. The color of her kitchen. Roach confesses not everyone is ready for this much color. And actually I do some very quiet colors. You don't have to have the big pow all the time. I love the big pow but you can also have something quiet. Her ultimate goal, to create art that is affordable. So it starts at around 200 for an archival print, and nothing in here is in giant form is over $2,000. And that's in a five feet across and seven feet tall. And that's very important to me, that this kind of art is accessible to all of us. And it brings color and happiness into your life. <laughs>